So important structures that we need to be aware of when we're working on the palatal aspect of our maxillary teeth are the palatine nerves and palatine arteries. Now these nerves and arteries originate from these two foramina that you'll see right here. They're located bilaterally in the palate on the hard palate. Now they're usually right about where the second molar meets the third molar. Some patients don't have a third molar. If they don't, then we can find this area by pushing with our cotton swab and basically applying some pressure as we slide posteriorly and we'll actually feel it sink into that little funnel which would be the greater palatine foramen. Just posterior to that is our lesser palatine foramen. Now, the other way to find that would be, and if you're used to doing dentures, you can find the vibrating line. So the vibrating line kind of mirrors this palatal bone in terms of the shape. And you have a patient open and say, ah, you'll see a clear vibration or movement of the soft palate where it kind of marks its junction to the hard palate. So just anterior to the vibrating line is where these are going to be and kind of where the alveolar bone meets the hard palate. That's where we're going to find them. So the vessels and nerves that are originating from these foramina basically run anteriorly and they go all the way up to provide innervation and perfusion up to about the canine region or just posterior to that, just distal to the canine. And it's also going to extend to the midline. Remember this is bilateral.